so we can see that it is infecting the brain causing all this thing meningitis so meningitis means it is the inflammation of the again meninges of the brain cover of the brain when we talk about the dis, uh, this dyspnea respiratory dis, distress or pneumonia atypical pneumonia generally caused by the other bacteria viruses which is not the reason for the pneumonia right so they are atypical and also like they are causing the dyspnea that means the, again the respiratory distress hello everyone i rashimam gai welcome you here at physics wala and today we are just going to discuss about a virus with no cure and this is the silent invader that spreads quickly and can turn a normal day into the global emergency it sounds so terrifying right so it is not a fiction it is real and let's discuss about this nipa virus recently it has caught a lot of attention of health expert worldwide so let's understand what is this nipa virus exactly so we are just going to discuss where did it come from transmission if this is deadly how exactly what is the mode of transmission about uh, you know of the nipa virus and how can we protect ourselves what are the symptoms we are just going to discuss if we should understand the uh, you know the symptoms and the spread mode of transmission so that at least we would be aware and we can protect ourselves so kids let's discuss about it and the uh, students who are from the kerala so they might aware about this dangerous deadly virus so let's discuss about it in, about it in detail we know that nipa virus is a zoonotic virus what is the zoonotic virus it spread by the animals itself right so yes which means it spread from the animals to the humans it was first identified in 1998 in malaysia and has since caused several outbreaks mainly in the south and southeast asia so this region is more susceptible for this virus because they are having you know rich diversity of the animals and specifically it is spread by the so we we'll see who is the primary carrier so primary carrier of this virus is the fruit bats yes and particularly those from the teropus genus so yes this is the main carrier of this virus animals are the carrier of this virus and we will see the other carrier are the pigs also so we'll see how to prevent uh, and and what exactly our government doing there we'll see everything so who is the pathogen nipa virus belongs to the family paramyxoviridae or virus and is highly infectious this is the main problem this is the problem because it's spreading super fast and you know you already know have seen the corona cases also or about the corona virus causing severe respiratory illness and brain inflammation also in the severe condition condition encephalitis that means the inflammation of the brain and it is considered a deadly virus due to its high mortality rate so it's it's been observed that this virus is so deadly because it has high mortality rates 40% to 75% which is again very high depending on the outbreak and healthcare access so it depends right but again mortality rate is really high and it is so dangerous because again it's infecting the respiration and brain which is the main part of the body and it is spreading what is the mode of transmission let's see as i have told you that it will be spreading from animals to human and which animals are the carrier first is we saw fruit bats to human through contaminated food right like fruits uh, eaten by the infected bats or through their urine or through their body fluid right so if you are not washing the uh, you know fruits nicely or the tree where the exactly they are sitting right or the fruits that are infected by these people so obviously there are the high chances that this virus will spread in the human community also it can also spread via contact with infected animals like pigs so pigs are also the carrier human to human transmission is also there and that is through the in droplet itself so that means same as the common cold if somebody are infected with the nipa virus and if we come in contact with that person or with the object of that person so there are the high chances that it will spread so respiratory infected respiratory droplets contact with the body fluid or contaminated surfaces or objects so you can see that how easily it is transmitting so that's why it is highly contagious and very dangerous right more dangerous than the corona this time so when we talk about this nipa virus i already have told you that it will be spreading from the fruit bat 
via their blood, urine or saliva and they generally seen on the you know this uh, palm tree and the people who are consuming the uh, palm you know cons consuming this date uh, anyway right so they are just having these juices and all or palm sap or all so it will be transmitted to the human if this is anyway uh, is infected by the blood urine or saliva of the infected bat carrying the virus or it is also spreading from pig to pig or pig to human as i have told you if people are consuming it right Next is the human to human transmission is also observed as I have told you because it's the droplet infection. So the chances of the uh, spreading is super high in this condition. And how it's tra transmitted, I already have told you, human to human, pig to human, bat to human, anyway, if we, if we come in contact with uh, them, right, with their body fluid, with their urine, with their blood that we have seen. So Nipa, now we'll see the symptoms. So this, when we talk about the normal symptom, right, initial symptom, it's fever, headache, cough and sore throat, shortness of breath, vomiting, drowsiness and disorientation. So generally they are having uh, like flu kind of symptom and respiratory, you know, causing the infection in the respiratory tract also because again, it's like, uh, again, I've told you, it's a drip, droplet infection, right? And next, when we talk about the more severe symptoms, so it is seen acute respiratory distress seizures is seen and encephalitis brain inflammation is seen in severe cases symptom can progress to coma within 24 to 48 hours leading to death and survivor may experience long-term neurological condition that's why it is so dangerous because it's again attacking the brain or muscles also right so we can see that it is infecting the brain causing all this thing meningitis so when meningitis means it is the inflammation of the again meninges of the brain cover of the brain when we talk about the dis, uh, this dyspnea respiratory dis, distress or pneumonia atypical pneumonia generally caused by the other bacteria viruses which is not the reason for the pneumonia right so they are atypical and also like they are causing the dyspnea that means the, again the respiratory distress and then we can see all these symptoms will be seen in the muscles right so all these are muscles related thing so they are infecting the muscle and the nervous system also so you can imagine that they are so dangerous what are the prevention there are no vaccines or specific antiviral treatment for the nipah virus so far so these are the prevention and you can you can obviously share this prevention with the people who are more susceptible for such a disease or they are living in the contaminated area right so avoiding consumption of the fruit or the product that may have been exposed to bats as i've told you the dates and all those right avoiding contact with the infected animals like pigs or the fruit bats strict hygiene practice washing hand frequently as it is spreading why the respiratory droplets also and avoiding contact with the sick individuals wearing protective gear and health worker especially should wear personal protective equipment when treating patient the kerala government has implemented quarantine protocols isolation of the confirmed cases and extensive contact tracing to prevent the virus spread so yes because i have told you many cases are, have been observed in the uh, kerala itself so yeah these are the prevention that i have already told you reduce bat infestation wash and peel the fruits and then have only boiled date palm juice wear protective clothing while tending any um, sick uh, animal regularly washing of the hands that is really important here what are the treatment as they don't have any treatment so far so treatment is supportive focusing on managing symptoms and providing intensive care for severe cases healthcare facilities emphasize early detection isolation of the patient and the supportive care to minimize mortality because again we know that once a person is infected then that person can infect many people around that person right so that's why it's so dangerous and really it is really dangerous virus deadly virus and now the uh, obviously now we have to concern about it because again you can imagine nipah virus outbreak this is the uh, today news itself from the uh, hindustan times so 175 people in contact list say kerala health minister and the cases can go up in future if it is not prevented properly. So India 
Kerala specifically is currently the most affected state in India as of September 2024. Six confirmed cases are there and two deaths. Strict lockdown and containment zone have been established in uh, their district to prevent this further spread. Nipah viruses strikes Kerala. Recent cases and implications. So, like I have taken this from this general, uh, this journal, right? So, this is the research general. So, you can see that really it's spreading super fast, right? Now, next. Let's see. Uh, we saw the same outbreak in the Bangladesh, right? So where exactly the bad population is high and the mortality rate was so high. Malaysia and Singapore, were, first outbreak was seen in these areas, right? And other countries also, like cases are primarily limited to South and Southern East Asia. Why is it? Because I have told you, zoonotic nature, diversity. And there's always risk to spread to other regions through animals migration or the people who are traveling there, right? Next is, uh, again, containment measure has been taken, healthcare, healthcare preparedness uh, has been done in, in those uh, regions where exactly the cases are high. And the Nipah virus has then, again, you can see that how fast spreading, I have told you, like, uh, this is the, again, this is spreading super fast because it's the respiratory disorder, or it's like because of the respiratory infected droplets. So you can see the general thing I have already told you. So obviously, this is the public healthcare messages for all the kids. Stay informed, report symptoms early, follow hygiene protocols, especially if you're living in the affected area, or if you feel that, you know, some people are there who are having the, you know, the symptoms like this right that's why i'm sharing it with you all and please share it with all those people who are living in these areas because obviously there are the high chances that such diseases can spread super fast so avoid going in the populated areas at least so nipah virus i have told you already right so make sure that you are avoid crowding uh, crowded places if you are in an in uh, you know affected areas wash hand properly wear mask so again the corona same corona pro precaution precautions right so kids i hope everything is clear and uh, then i would just suggest you that stay safe stay home uh, so don't uh, just uh, go out unnecessary in the crowd area because again you know that this is the new virus and again very contagious and so deadly. It is so dangerous. So just take care of yourself, your family, spread it with your family, your friends and spread aw let's uh, spread awareness, right? So kids, have a great day. Stay connected with us for more such videos and keep starting. Have a great day, kids.